In today's video, we'll be looking at creepy and strange TikToks that are going to make you question reality. So, this is weird. This is a building that collapsed in Taiwan from the earthquake the other day. And I'll show you a picture of this street sign momentarily. Hold on. Crazy. So, this is the building that was collapsed. And this is the road sign. Remember this. Remember. So I have a question. Um, what day was the earthquake again? And why would this be posted in 2018? Have this and this together? Hmm. Like, explain it. Please, someone explain it. Is like a coincidence? Pretty weird. Hmm. That is strange. If you live in America, I want I want to tell you that this video here is for you. Ukraine will become a member uh, of NATO. Uh, our purpose at the summit is to help build a bridge to that membership. The United States decided to make Ukraine a part of NATO. For those of you guys that don't know, Ukraine is currently under attack and at war with Russia. If Ukraine becomes part of NATO, that means America now will be at war with Russia and China and all of his allies. We are officially looking at a potential World War III and it honestly feels like it's just one thing after another. And that's what it's been seeming like ever since COVID. And this news here could not have been any worse. The U.S. dollar is collapsing. Inflation is at an all-time high. And the U.S. is treating its own people worse than the stepchild. Ain't that messed up, though? And you got it right, though. Ever since COVID, man, it's been a lot of crazy stuff going on, man. Anybody else felt that way? Comment down below, man. Ever since COVID, has your life been feeling just weird? Okay, I just found something else insane about the eclipse. How many coincidences do we need? So do you remember a couple days ago when there was those really, really, really bad storms, bad tornadoes, all that? Remember this path. See that same path? Listen to what the meteorologist says. This is actually bizarre. Again, he sees weather every day, and this is bizarre to him. And I'm not just saying that. This will be one of the more notable severe storms nights in March in recent memory. In the past hour, over 16,000 individual lightning bolts from western New York mm. to northeast Texas, spanning 1,200 miles. Mm. Again, in the same exact path as the eclipse. And here is another glimpse of it. In the same exact path. And this storm was so dangerous. And again, it connects at the New Madrid fault line and also at the gravity low. Mm -hmm. Now, if there was some kind of cataclysm at this New Madrid fault line, guess what? Scientists already drew up what it would look like. And this right here is what they believe the outcome mm. would be. Yo, take a look at that, y'all. Do you think you'd be safe where you live right now? Yo, it's a lot of places that would be washed up if this was like to really happen. Like the whole West Coast is gone. There's a couple islands out there. That mo gone. We'd be safe in Illinois for the most part. I mean, Chicago. Dang, Chicago gone, basically. Here, I'll give you a second. Is your new location in the ocean? In a river or on land? Let me know in the comments. Me over here, I got a new beach line 20 minutes from the house. But if you're over here, and all this controversy going on with Texas right now, they'd be the best place on the map. Y'all, I think this is a warning. I think this, I didn't think anything was going to happen. I really didn't. I thought it was a sign of judgment from God. But I don't know now. I mean, you got National Guard, them warning people to get flashlights and batteries and water and all this stuff. I don't know. It is 2024, and with the first quarter of the year, I would not be surprised. David Shane, you better be recording this for us. Mm. Can people see this? Look at this. Look at the amount of fish that's millions and millions. This is like, where, the, where did he come from? That's the middle of the desert. Where did this come from? And this is 
They're trying to get up. That's the fish there, look. Look at that. You can't... This world is amazing, isn't it? Look at them going across on the road. They're getting through. They're trying to get up and go. It's so beautiful. I'll be soon at Tenon Creek. This is the middle of us. Look at the birds going in for a feed. Oh man. The thing that's got me is where did this fish all come from? Where the water come from? Well guys, love yous and I gotta leave yous because I gotta get to the desert. I'm in the desert, I'm going to another desert. Gotcha. In the middle of the desert, you got random fish popping up. Listen to what Jim Carrey just said. I've had some challenges in the last couple of years myself. Uh, and uh, ultimately, I believe that suffering leads to salvation. Uh, we have to somehow accept and not deny, but feel our suffering. And then we make one of two decisions. We either decide to go through the gate of resentment which leads to vengeance, which leads to self-harm, which leads to harm to others, or we go through the gate of forgiveness, which leads to grace. Just as Christ did on the cross, he suffered terribly, and he was broken by it. To look upon the people who were causing that suffering, or the situation that was causing that suffering with compassion and with forgiveness. That's what opens the gates of heaven for all of us. Hmm. Bob Ross could actually be a serial killer. As we all know, Bob right. Ross is a world-famous painter who is known for his gentle and calm demeanor when he paints. But many people theorize that Bob Ross might not be as innocent as he seems. Many people believe that Bob Ross has a dark side that he tries to hide with his calm and innocent personality mm. that he portrays. Many people believe this because some of the landscapes that Bob Ross paints are oddly familiar to crime scenes where dead bodies have been found. Mm, like, crazy. for example, there's a painting that Bob Ross named Happy Little Accidents. The painting coincidentally matches up to where authorities found five female bodies that were half-eaten and deceased. And there have been more instances of this like a painting that Bob Ross named Betrayal and another one that he named Greed. Both of these paintings look identical to crime scenes where dead bodies have been found with missing limbs. And due to all the evidence, many people speculate that Bob Ross was a serial killer that painted the locations of where he buried his victims. Mm. But what do you think? Was Bob Ross a serial killer? Press share, click on more, and click Google Maps to see where the crime scene is. Yo, what if? What if he is serial? Man. Jesus did not die for your sins. He died trying to show you that the church was worshipping Satan and the empire was farming you like an animal. Mm. The same church and empire that assassinated him by crucifixion. The same church and empire that rewrote the book that you read today that you think is the truth. Those who follow the blood of Christ doctrine, believing that Jesus died and shed his blood to wash away your sins, disrespect everything Jesus actually did for you. Do me a favor and go back in that book because there is some good parts and read the story again. The people he was telling you were evil. The same people that killed him. The same people that rewrote the book that you read out of. You worship and follow. You worship and follow their version of the Christ story. They assassinated him. They're lying to you. Jesus came here to give you the truth that our institutions are corrupt. Mm. And Jesus also told you what you needed to do to fix that. To do far greater things than he. Mm. This has to be the most explosive thing that's came out on the Diddy case. And so you get these people in compromising situations. So Jesse Waters, longtime notable Fox anchor, is on the PBD podcast, which, by the way, shout out to Patrick Bet David for having Waters on in this type of environment, like a podcast type of feel. This was a great guest to have. And they start with talking about how P. Diddy's bodyguard was like, yep, there was musicians there, there was princes there, there was politicians there. He also had a couple of preachers 
kidding me. Oh, damn. And then Pat kicks the story to Jesse Waters, and Jesse says what so many of us crazy tinfoil hat wearing conspiracy theorists has been saying for years it wasn't just this guy that was saying it lil rod the former producer filed the lawsuit and he said every room in diddy's mansions were wired with cameras and he had some of the footage he had some of the pictures and he displayed those in the lawsuit that came out and this was used for blackmail material they'd bring in these people a lot of these people were also aspiring young artists in the music industry. And then these parties were sponsored by Motown Records CEO, Damn. Universal Records CEO. This goes all the way to the top. And so you get these people in compromising situations. The drinks were laced. The videotapes were hot. And then at the end of the day, you wake up the next morning, oh, what did I do? And then they have compromising material on you. And then they can guide your career. They could kill your career, but they got you. And it wasn't just people in the music business. As you said, there were athletes, there were celebrities, there were politicians, people from the royal family. And we were also told by the former bodyguard that Diddy was an FBI informant. Whoa. So he was a snitch Dang. and was feeding information to the feds. And we don't know what that means. We haven't been able to confirm it. But even little Rod said it's not just like Epstein. It could be worse. Remember that whole term that we're not allowed to say online? You're going to have to figure this one out. But aluminum Bugatti obviously <laughs> incredibly explosive but what's interesting to me is that he said allegedly Diddy could be an FBI informant and if that's the case that whole thing that happened was staged There's a lot of interesting things going on right now with him I mean here he is in Florida randomly after all that happened he's just like smiling and shit. down here at, at Pura Vida by my pad uh, run into the man right here uh, What's up? Miami's like that. Yeah. It's a movie. Almost like he made some type of deal. He's insulated, but everybody else. Mm. We're going to find out. The year of exposure and justice. God bless you and have a good day. Dang. So this is your boy Diddy working for the feds. He got everybody on camera. Got evidence on everybody. That's why he out here smiling. He like, whatever. What y'all going to do? I'ma release the tapes. Controlling the weather. Yo, I don't know what's going on, but look. It's just a sidewalk full of birds. They're not even moving. Some are alive. I ain't never been able that to That one just flew up to the window, but he's not even moving. But there's just a sidewalk full of dead freaking birds. Know, the people that be saying birds aren't real. I don't know what's going on, but that's a lot of dead I'm about birds. to get the hell out of here. Yeah, I would too. They have been desensitizing us since we were born. And I'll give you some examples. Let's start with the big one. Let's start with words we hear all the time and never even think about. Let's start with the word entertainment. To entertain, what does that mean? To bind or hold, to bind or hold what? An audience's attention. Okay, now let's take the word Hollywood. Where does that come from? Well, Hollywood comes from the holly tree. And the ancient Druids, back in the day, used to take the holly tree, make wands to weave spells, cast spells, or channel spells. And when they needed help, they would consult the magis or the mediums of the day to help channel their spells to the population. We'll cut to today. What do we have in our houses? We have these black boxes. What are they called? TVs. But if you stop and you say the word, tell a vision, television. And when you turn on that television, what do you get? What's the first thing that pops up? A list of channels. And when you turn on those channels, what's on those channels? The programming. programming. They are programming you. They've been programming your whole life. You don't even know it. They do it with your music. They do it with your TV. They do it with your movies. They do it with your games. They have been programming us and programming you since you were little and you don't even know it because you don't even question it. Dang, man.
Start programming me with the O64. All right, buckle up. CERN is going live for a test on Monday, April 8th. There's a total solar eclipse the same day. So what's up? The history of CERN, their motives, what they've admitted to what they're looking to do, and all the way down to their rituals or even specific geographic location. So again, what's going on? The world's largest particle accelerator is scheduled to smash protons together this Monday. Coincident with the quote, great North American solar eclipse. One that we won't see again for over 300 years. So why are they doing it? Well, they say they're searching for dark matter and the God particle, the glue that holds this universe together. You know, and I believe that, that, that that's something that they're searching for. But I think there's other things at play as well. Years ago, then director of research and scientific computing was quoted when referring to dimensional doors created by the collider. He said that out of this door might come something or we might send something through it. I'll get back to that in a minute. Then there's the location. The location in Geneva, Switzerland, the collider ring runs through a town called Saint Genie Puy, or however the French say it. In Roman times, it was called Apollyacum, the town and temple being dedicated to Apollyon. Apollyon, the Greek name meaning destroyer, given in Revelation 9-11 for the angel of the bottomless pit. Abaddon in Hebrew. Curious location for an organization who also has a statue of Shiva, the god of destruction, on their compound. The text in Revelation 9 describes the fifth angel and the key to the bottomless pit. It goes on to describe the horrors of what comes out of that pit. And it ends at verse 11. And they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue is the name Apollyon. So I said before, CERN's in search of the God particle, the makeup of our existence. They've also admitted that they may open dimensional doors and not know what or understand what comes through. Mm. Did you know that during the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, there was a massive earthquake and the sun went dark? See, as much as CERN is trying to find the particles of what holds all of this together, I believe they're also trying to access the spiritual realm. Not an alternate reality, not a multiverse. I don't believe those exist. And they don't either. But they want to open up the pit. And I also think they want to break into the heavenly realm. Maybe nothing. Could be something. Too much going on to ignore it though. Hmm? The eclipse, CERN, NASA rockets. <laughs> I mean, hey, if there's a massive earthquake on Monday, right? As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Well, put on your seatbelts, y'all. This looks like the big one they've been warning us about for the last 20 years. Today, the White House was asked directly about this. Mm. They refused to confirm nor deny. Also, the Russians said this today. And there are reports from people that there are Russian tanks in Syria on the border with Israel right now. So it looks like a two-front deal. Not good, especially considering that our current administration sold out all of our oil reserves, has made Iran extremely wealthy by handing them billions and billions of dollars over the last few years, and has allowed them to, ar allowed them to arm themselves in a way that they have never been armed. So here we go, y'all. It's the war they've been telling us about, and we are less prepared than ever. Thank you to the yeah. current administration. We have a lot to look forward to in the coming week. Hopefully, God willing, this doesn't happen. We need to pray for peace and pray that this does not pop off in the way that it looks like it's going to, because this could be a disaster for the entire world. You think things are bad now? You think things are bad in the Red Sea now? Wait until two large armies are involved. It's going to be a crisis like we've never seen. Why you can't fucking pay your bills right now? Why your shit is tight? Because these people stole the fucking economy from you. And it's all so that nobody can have any power. Like, bro, look how they tax us. Mm -hmm. They tax us with all this shit, but yet they print as much money as they need.
So they take half of your money mm -hmm. and then they print whatever else they need, devaluing the rest of the money that you have. You see that? Right. But most people don't understand how that works. So they're not up in arms about it. If most people understood that these people are taxing us, and, and by the way, we're all taxed when we add it all up, it equal or more than half of our income when we consider sales tax, the cost of ownership, a property tax, uh, fucking tax when you buy shit, tax when you sell shit, mm -hmm. income tax. Most people only think about income tax. But when you add it all together, you're paying over 50%, which means you're a slave to the government. Okay. And then the money you're left with, Literally. they are printing trillions of dollars on the backside, which means the money you get to keep isn't worth as much. And most people don't understand this basic reality of economics. And because they don't, they're all. Yo, he dropping gems right there. That's real. Give you this interview that you feel that Prince was murdered by Warner Brothers and Michael Jackson was murdered by Sony. Yes. For, the, for their music catalog. Yes. Mm. Without question. Michael Jackson owned, okay, the rights to the Beatles. He owned a significant portion of Elvis's catalog. Who's more popular than them two guys in, in the world of white music? And a black man mm. owns the rights. Sony Records deliberately sabotaged Michael Jackson's last album, Invincible, to guarantee that he would be into debt to the corporation so he would have to pay them back by giving up the catalog, okay? And ultimately, that's why he was murdered. He should have never came back to the Staples Centers to prepare for those concerts that he had lined up. Those concerts would have gave him the liquid cash to pay off his debt to Sony and keep his catalog. So in order to make sure you get the catalog back, you got to make sure that Michael never goes on tour to get the liquid cash. Michael wasn't broke. He just didn't have the liquid cash. He had the assets. He didn't have the liquid money. And from what I heard, the catalog is no longer in the Jackson family's possession. So well, they the the catalog was partially sold, I believe, to okay. Sony after after his death. Well, but Michael Jackson, I guess at the time he was having some financial issues, but mm -hmm. once once he died and the state came in and cleaned up his finances, he he became one of the richest dead celebrities on the planet. Oh yeah. Well, Michael Jack, well he's the highest selling recording artist of all time. He yeah. sold more than a billion albums. No one else has ever done that. You know, but the the music industry functions like any other white racist society. It's get down to lay down. So mm -hmm. Michael was murdered. He was murdered without no question. And Prince, who do you know? Here's the interesting thing about the Prince murder. He was sick with the flu, but he was riding his bike in the park a day or two before he died. Who do you know with the flu takes a ride in cold Minnesota, okay, with the flu? Nonsense. Prince was murdered. They found him in the elevator, gasping for air, whatever the situation is. He was murdered, too. And I think the, the problem that he made was he went back to the table to negotiate with Warner Brothers. They wanted to uh, remix the uh, Purple Rain 20 or 30 year anniversary album. He agreed to that. First of all, who calls you up and say we want to give you your masters? That's the first question. Who calls anyone up and says we want to give you your masters back? He's been fighting for his masters his whole career. All of a sudden, out the blue, we want to give him his masters. That was the Machiavellian give in order to take, mm -hmm. to get back into Prince's life, find exactly what he was up to. Prince's death, Michael's death, was for the Beatles catalog and his share of Elvis's catalog. Prince was murdered for his unpublished material. They said Prince was almost like a Tupac, maybe even more than Tupac. They said Prince had enough unpublished material that you could release an album a year for the next 100 years. They didn't care about the Purple Rain. They want the unpublished material because that stuff is ultimately worth billions. You got to understand, Prince's fans are like no other fans. I know because I have an aunt who is a Prince fan. I mean, they, they are like no other fans. So you get your hands on a dead artist's unpublished material? It's jackpot. He was murdered for what had not been released yet. My, uh, Michael was murdered for what he owned. Well, you had mentioned Tupac also. You mm. felt the Tupac was... Oh, Tupac was murdered without question, Tupac. The FBI was uh, had Tupac and Big, for that matter, under surveillance for at least a week prior to the murder. So that means even the murder was caught on tape by the FBI. Now, mind you, Pac was a serious threat. His mother was Afeni Shakur, former leader of the New York City Panthers. This is the same black woman who walked into a New York City federal courthouse 
pregnant with Tupac and defended herself and 20 other Panthers from that famous Panther 21 trial when they were charged with plotting to blow up federal buildings, which was nothing but a COINTELPRO setup. Pregnant with Pac, no legal experience. This black woman defends herself and all 20 of them, 21 of them walk out of prison. So naturally, the child of that has to be watched. Geronimo Pratt, his godfather, Mutulu Shakur, I believe possibly the stepfather. At the time of his death, he was um, working to politicize the Crips and the Bloods in L.A. Tupac was a threat. The number one selling rapper in the world, OK, is a revolutionary. They could not allow that. After he split from death row, Tupac was on his way to do some revolutionary things, so they cut him down before he could grow. Yeah. Music ain't been the same either. Man, you know what's crazy, though? Hey, FBI, if y'all watching me, I ain't got no catalog. Ain't nothing stashed. I make my videos the same day. Just saying. So, <laughs> you can't get none from me. Ain't posting right 7X videos every year for 100 years. That's crazy, though, man. You know how the music industry works. It, it's literally like you know, a money thing, you know, they don't really care about you as a person. They, hey, whatever works, we're going to make sure we get the money at the end of the day. Okay. Something looked a little weird this morning in the sunrise. So I put my drone up to take a better look. Tell me if you think this is weird. Of course, I dropped the exposure. Mm, two lights. Why is there what looks to be two suns? And I moved it around to see if it's just some kind of lens refraction. Usually it moves around like it does over here on this side, but it's showing two. Why is that? It's April 7th. I'm in Northern Indiana. And it sure looks like two light sources in the sky. Help me out here. I don't, I don't understand what's going on. But clearly I moved the drone around to see if maybe it is just something with the lens. I adjust the brightness and it still shows two. Help me out. Hmm. I'm hoping it's just like a camera issue, but it was shot on a uh, DJI Mini 2. I don't know. There's a lot smarter people than I am. Tell me what this is. <clears throat> well, it ain't a mistake for your camera, man. I think we are in a binary star system. There's a lot of different things that are floating around our skies and we don't really know what they are because they don't tell us. Could be, you know, a reflection off of the firmament, something like that. But I, I ultimately think that there is something else in the sky. I can't make this shit up. I can't make this shit up. I just get home and it is at least I'm my bad, my camera suck, my bad. I'm suck my camera work, but look at all these geese at my mm. house. Like, I can't make this up. They kicking it. It's a geese party. It's 200 geese at my house. Oh, oh, it's 400. It's 400, it's 400 geese. So we have the whole flock. Is this not the whole flock? The whole walk of flock of flame is out here? It's never been this many. It's never been this many. Goodness gracious. Yeah, they finna go somewhere. Yeah, they finna dip or something. Look at this. This is about 600 geese outside my backyard. What the fuck is going on? It's more than 600. Oh my goodness. Yo, that is a lot of geese, man. That is crazy. I ain't never seen nothing like that. So, I found a dragon. And I'm not even joking. And not only did I find a dragon, but I found a dragon in the United States the size of a state. Now you might think I'm crazy, but if you watch this video, I'm gonna provide you solid evidence to the point where you're gonna know there were dragons. It all started a few days ago when my buddy Mike, who has this page on the gram, go follow him. He is brilliant and has so much awesome information, posted this. 
and those are people. So these are rock formations, and those are people. Mm. So think how big that is. So Mike was mentioning in his post how the mainstream would never let us know how big dinosaurs actually were. And Don't those look like bricks? You know, if you look at it from that angle, it look like bricks. He was saying these were scales from a giant dinosaur. Uh. But I was suspicious. I wasn't quite sold on what he was saying. Suspicious to the point where I wanted the coordinates. So Mike, like the good person he is, found me the coordinates. And just to show you a little bit more, this, all this rock formation goes on until the eye can't see. And that's a car, just so you get an idea of how big these are. So I got these coordinates and I put them in because I wanted to see these rock formations for myself. So I zoomed all the way in and I found these patterns and they were everywhere and they just go on forever and forever. And that's a car just so you can get a scale again here. And just look at these, they're forever, forever. And they're all just like the squareness of them. They're too coincidental to what a reptile scale looks like to me. So what I wanted to do was I saw this and then I wanted to zoom out and see if I can get a bigger thing, but I, I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything, didn't see anything. And I was like, oh, I give up. And then all of a sudden there it was. Now you might not see it at first, but I promise you, oh, you will. Snap, I see. So look at- Yo, that's Charizard. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see it before, before he explains it? Let me know if y'all see it. I see Charizard right there. I see some wings. I see the face. Yo, do y'all, we had dragons here? Like huge dragons the size of states. You know, this has got my mind buzzing right now. Like, you know how we're supposedly in the firmament, right? And we only know these certain continents right here. What if, you know, the firmament, if it was to open up, and you know, there's like probably tons of land out there, different areas, and there's different beings and giants and stuff. But what if, you know, the land was crazy back in the day, and that's why they put the firmament up so that we could, you know, be kind of safe from these things? Because if a dragon come around like that right now, like, bro, we all toast literally like one little cough and it's going to burn cities. The red, we're looking at the red here. Here's a wing, okay? So a giant wing. Here's its torso going up to its neck, and then its head is right here. And then another wing, and then, so we got body, wing, wing, neck, and then I'm gonna show you its head, and it's crazy. All right, so I really want you to see this. And over here is the head, so I circled the head. Here's its mouth around. Literally, the mouth opening is right here. Mm. Here's its eye. So here's its big head. Here's an outline, found the best looking dragon to what it looked like. But you can see in the blue out outline, the blue, you can see the wings. And then its head goes up and around in the part to the very top right is the head here. Now watch this. All right, so here's the whole thing. Wing, wing, I'm gonna zoom in on the head here and wait, just wait till you see this. Okay, so here's its head. Here would be its bottom jaw. Look, you can literally see its teeth, teeth huh? even molars here. And then look at this, more teeth over here, but wait till I show you what I found. And I found this after I saw this. Look at the name of the trail by the giant Black dragon. dragon head. Black Dragon Canyon Trailhead. Guys, they put the truth right in plain sight. The dragon's head, dragon trail. So just to compare the rock formations Yo. to a crocodile suspiciously similar, right? So again, I just really want you to see that those rock formations look exactly like what petrified crocodile scales would look like, exactly. And these scales go on forever, literally forever, miles and miles and miles. Now here's where it gets even crazier. There's a place up here around where the dragon's chest would be called Fern's Nipple. And I wanna show you this place. Okay, so here it is from an overhead view and it literally looks like a nipple and you can see all these scale patterns again. Now let me show it to you from the side view. All right, so it clearly looks like what it's being called and it happens to be right in that chest area of the dragon. Now I think if people were to ever think of dragons for real, they wouldn't think that dragons had nipples. But there was all sorts of crossbreeding animals going on back before the flood with the fallen angels literally crossbreeding humans with different animals to try to get different species. 
So I'm not discounting this part of it at all, especially when I look at what ferns comes from. There just happens to be something called a wyvern. And fern, vern, wyvern, it sounds very similar to me. And a wyvern is a type of mm. mythical dragon with two legs and two wings and a pointed tail, which is said to be a venomous stinger. So are they telling us truth in plain sight, as they always do? And again, are they putting that truth in plain sight, in books, and even in alcoholic beverages called dragon's milk? You tell me. Now, you might think all oh, this is crazy, but the dragon, it's been mentioned everywhere since the beginning of written history. And the Bible was mentioned 35 times. It's one of the 12 zodiac signs of the Chinese calendar. And you're telling me they just picked 11 real animals and one fictional one? It was also even in the dictionary pre-1936 as listed as now rare mm. dragons. Now rare. Now, if you haven't researched any of the history of the hidden giants and titans of the world, like these guys, or this one, or these, or even some of these crazy ones in this giant petrified tree, well, then I could understand why you can't see this outline of this wing here with its neck going to its head with the fern's nipple and the wing here coming down to its tail. Maybe you need to look a little harder. And maybe you need to research a little more. But to me, I know what I see. And it's clear as day to me. And if you can't understand why they would hide these guys from us, well, because it crashes down their narrative of evolution and the Big Bang and dinosaurs and the globe and everything. And it legitimizes the Bible. So you can go on believing that dinosaurs existed 65 million years ago. Or you can do some research and realize these are the guys that really existed. And they were as big as the state of Florida. But as always, guys, this was just a big elaborate hoax. I'm just here to entertain you guys. Yeah, I just think this is a guy from a cartoon movie called The Hobbit that they turned into a movie from a book. And it's all just lies. Just entertain and make people imagine this fantasy world. All for entertainment. Yo, what's going on with the world? We really had dragons back in the day. Yo, I think it's time that we really sit down and watch the movie How to Train a Dragon. No lie. But no, some serious stuff though. Like, I think they just came out with a movie too on Netflix about uh, dragons with a girl from Stranger Things. You know, so it, it could be, you know. What if we are going to start seeing dragons? A dragon got to be on my side for real though. Like, Man, what? I, I'm not trying to see dragons. I don't even want to see an alligator, you know? Come on, man. But yeah, these are some of the most creepy and strange TikToks that are out there. If you like the content, don't forget to subscribe, turn your notification bell on, and until next time, YouTube, peace.